Hello, it's February the 28th of 2024 and this will be one of the and uh, videos because I've been flying and talking not in my mother's language so it would be sometimes a little bit difficult to find the right words for me. This will be my gazelle test actually for the flight model only and to be honest right at the beginning this is the best flight model ever for the gazelle I've been flown. But there are still some glitches and uh, we will talk about uh, during the video. So at the beginning we will start with reducing weight and taking away all the ballast weapons and all that kind of stuff. So we reduce fuel to 30% that will be enough for the flight. We um, take all the weapon systems and all the stuff around away and we give the Gazelle a pretty nice German request rearming. Skin. Request rearming. So during the time we're waiting we just test Copy. the controls so pedals are working, cyclic is working fine and collective is working fine. This is flying right out of the box, nothing changes to uh, curves or any, uh, any other thing in the control systems. I do not use trim because I do not feel comfortable with the trim. and. Uh, there will be some strange situation, much better to see if we use uh, no trim at all. So I'm activating the control window in the left corner, so you can see my control inputs. That makes it a little bit easier to follow my, my talking maybe. So let's wait for the rearming will be completed. Take a look on the outside. Okay already clean from the outside so let's wait for the rearming complete here it is rearming complete okay dokey so let's go into a nice steady hover but doesn't change is the reaction on collective so I have to move a lot of collective in comparisons in comparison to other helicopters but What's pretty nice with the flight model, it's about a half a year now since the flight model has drastically changed. Harbor is pretty great. It's stable. So let's move nicely forward towards the taxi lines and we try to do a stable, nice controlled hover. Just to remind you, I'm a commercial helicopter pilot and flight instructor. I flew several different types of aircrafts and uh, the Gazelle was still one of my favorites even with the old flight model. And there was a video where I told you to change curves and settings for your controls to even make it possible to fly with the Gazelle. So changes are not necessary, at least with my control setup. So it's pretty nice to control, it's stable in a hover. So let's move to the center line, a little bit more forward. The first thing I, I, I think is a little bit strange, we have a lot of pedal authority to the left. So I only need to touch the pedal just a little bit and it will move to the left, yaw to the left, in the opposite direction it is much harder so even if the aircraft is now low on fuel no weapons attached the pedal authority to the right is just enough to turn the aircraft so I try to keep it on the center line so turning on the air axis makes it a little bit unstable in hover but it's still much 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 better controllable than before so actually these things are not possible with the, with the old flight model a year ago. So the, the new team working on the Gazelle did a really really good job. So let's try to move sidewards, but still staying above the center line of the taxiway. So we move a little bit more forward. We take the grass line as a reference and move a little bit to the right, gently gently just only applying a little bit pressure to the cyclic don't move it very much come to full stop 
and move it to the left. Keep the nose straight with pedals and try to stay over the center line and keep the distance towards the grass. To the left it's a little bit harder than to the right. That's okay, that's fine. Every helicopter has its favorite direction. Depending on uh, in which direction the main rotor is turning, if it's counterclockwise or if it's clockwise turning, they have their favorite direction hovering sidewards. That looks pretty good. So we move to the runway and we try a normal takeoff. I gently try to hover along the center line towards the runway. Actually, I take my hand now from the controls, using the mouse to flip the screen away so I have a better view outside. And I was just a little bit hovering to the left, away from the center line, so I try to get back on the center line. I mean you use the string on the windshield for pedal control if the aircraft is in trim or not. I don't look on the small ball below the artificial horizon. I used to use the string. So we reach the runway. Let's stop for a moment. Looking to the left, looking to the right, everything is clear, line up. and to the center line. So the touchdown on the ground is still a little bumpy, depending on my inputs of course, but most of the time it's pretty much bumpy, so I like to touch down with a little bit of, little bit of forward movement that makes it much easier and smoother. If you try to uh, touch down really vertically, uh, it's loud, noisy and pretty bumpy often. Maybe it's because of my control inputs, but I'm not quite sure, so let's go back into a hover and take off from runway to 2. So I gently accelerate the aircraft, don't use the collective too much. The gazelle anyway don't react on the collective, so it's a little bit of uh, uh, a problem for me coming up, coming from the UH-1, mostly flying the UH-1, which is very um, reactive on the collective, and then flying the gazelle, and you can raise collective, nothing happens. Let's try it. I raise collective. It slowly starts climbing, but it doesn't react that fast, especially in the opposite direction. If you lower collective to the ground, to the bottom of the cockpit and close to the ground you raise collective again there usually nothing happens in the falling down like a stone that's pretty strange and and didn't have changed to the old flight model so i'm not quite sure but i believe it's not not correct that way it should be more authority on the collective and a little bit more uh, lift when i get close to the ground a little bit more control on the collective, stopping my descent, controlling descent and actually f a flare and uh, bring the aircraft into a hover during landing. So on a final approach, on a normal final approach, the uh, Gazelle is, is pretty close to a glider. I can lower the collective to the bottom and he will still glide don't fall like a stone, they will glide, 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 glide. So I come with the collective now to stop my descent. Slowly, nice and slow, try to stay over the center line. Uh, not good, but not that bad. So that's really pretty nice. So I like to fly the gazelle. So that's the hover performance, takeoff and landing is pretty easy now with the gazelle. So let's do a little bit more of an accelerate, 
accelerated flight and a little bit more of agile movements because um, the Gazelle is actually it's just like a Formula 1 car. It should be really quick on the controls, should have a lot of power. So the power weight ratio is a very good one usually. And we should be able to fly a little bit ag more aggressive, a little bit faster and still keeping control. Again, uh, this was not a, I was not able to do that uh, in, in the old flight model. There actually was no controllability in low flight. It's great now. It still lacks um, tail roll authority if you push the right pedal. I push full right pedal, nothing happens. So it's just slowly turns to the right. And the aircraft is already empty. There should not be that much torque on the system. The aircraft is empty, only 30% fuel on board, less than 30 now, maybe not 29. No weapons, no co-pilot. So it should be much more reactive on the right pedal. If we add some wind, let's say 50 knots wind here on the airport, right now it's calm, no wind at all. With 50, 50 knots wind from the side, the aircraft would be not controllable with right pedal. So, and then let's go into a little bit more aggressive flight close to the ground between the bunkers. That's what I already said. <laughs> um, there is no authority on the collective. You can raise the collective. You will get the warning sign that your torque is uh, you're overusing the torque. You use all the power, but he refuses to climb on the collective during such maneuvers. So you need to apply a, cy a cyclic climb. Uh, so you will climb only on on the cyclic, which reduces your airspeed drastically. So I was talking to some uh, uh, real Gazelle pilots, friend, uh, especially French Gazelle pilots, about the old flight, mo flight model, and they've been really satisfied with the old flight model in way of the reaction and the authority of the controls. Uh, for me, it was a little bit over the, overdue. It's much better now with the new flight model, but it could be a little bit more power and a little bit quicker on, at, on the on the right pedal, of course, and of course on the collective. Because I was using the old flight model, I did not think about uh, making the gasel hotter and quicker over the control input system. So. <laughs> I was used to bring it back and slow it down all the time for years now and I didn't think about making it quicker so one of our uh, pilots in the squad told me hey why do you not change the control settings to make it a little bit more quicker and reactive especially on the collective so it feels a little bit more natural and gives you a little bit more of uh, authority on the collective or at least the feeling of authority on the collective because the collective is then reacting much quicker so but it's pretty nice let's do a hard turn here and then we fly back to the apron and we do some changes to the control system so we fly along the taxiway So this, was, this is one of the strange things, if I fly pretty fast forward, I need to apply a lot of left cyclic to keep the aircraft centered over the center line. So, apron, 
Aber. Ups! Yeah, that's what I mean. So he, there is the tendency for the Gazelle to fall down. If you come to a full, uh, from a forward movement into a full stop, suddenly you need a lot, lot, lot of uh, a collective and a lot of power. That uh, often uh, there is the uh, low, power, the max power warning sign, warning horn, uh, yelling. It doesn't happen now. That's because I'm just, I'm flying for about 30 minutes now before I start the video. I already get warm with the gazelle a little bit and flew for about 30 minutes. So let's go to the control panel. So flight controls. The first one and the most important is the collective. Of course it's dep it is depending on your controls but for me I use 100% the UH1 but in the gazelle I changed the axis the x, the x axis to 50%. So uh, that doubles the reaction on the collective in, in regard to speed. So it reacts much faster. I do not need to move the collective that much. So it's much more sensitive. That works perfect for me. In Harbour the Gazelle is already great. Uh, in fact, yeah, I, I would not uh, do any changes, but in flight, sometimes it feels a little bit sluggy and slow, so I believe it's because of the lack of power. If the Gazelle had more power and it would be more reactive on the on the lift side, uh, according to the collective, so uh, it would be much more realistic, but to give a little bit a sense of a realistic, active, fast response, I reduced the x-axis back to 85 on Nick and roll on the Nick and on the roll axis at the same time, of course, no curves at all. Just uh, make it a little bit quicker in the reaction. So that's a good compromise for me between stable hover and a little bit faster reaction during flight. So let's start again with the hover part. Again, I open up the control window in the lower left corner. And then we go back to a nice and stable hover. Oops. First takeoff is always a mess. So, but again, the aircraft is still pretty stable. So let's see how it reacts on our hover maneuvers. Let's move forward to the center line. We basically do the same thing before, before we applied the changes. We simply do it a little bit quicker because the changes in cyclic are not that big. And uh, the changes in collective, they may only be um, recognizable during fast flight, aggressive flight, where you need sudden changes in lift. So let's move to the left. Okie dokie, that's not a gazelle, that's actually that's me, because I was at lunch between the flights, so I need to find back into the cockpit. It's a little bit harder in a computer, in a real, real helicopter it's much easier. In the computer it's uh, a little bit more difficult. I use a, a 2D flat screen, no goggles, no 3D visual. So I need a couple of minutes to get used to. So that looks pretty good. It's pretty much controllable. Just follow the center line for a second. Turn to the left following the center line. I did not change anything on the pedals or on the tail rotor. So that's absolutely fine for me. So it's still pretty pretty much controllable and stable hover flight. So let's go to the more aggressive flying. Circling around the cargo parts here, the containers.
again that's me it's not a gazelle I'm not quite back in the cockpit so I maybe need one or two minutes more to feel comfortable in the squadron we do usually one or two traffic patterns so everybody uh, gets the feeling back and feels well in the cockpit before we start training or we move into some missions Okay, let's start a little bit more aggressive flying. So it is a little bit more responsive, but still I do not over control that much. Maybe sometimes a little bit, but not that much. So that's personal reference if you fly with the 100% x-axis or you make it a little bit sharper and reduce the axis, x-axis a little bit. Um, after a couple of flights, uh, more than 85 or less than 85 on the x-axis back to 75 or something that's actually too much because I'm not able to hover that stable anymore and it's pretty shaky so for me it's a good compromise just to make it a little bit quicker in the action flying and still stable during hover flight and as I said the biggest advantage is on the collective is much more risk reactive on the collective and the collective feels similar to the cyclic stick so on a cyclic stick I only work with pressures not that much movement simply pressures it's really pretty small movements and before the change on the collective I need to pull a lot on the collective and after the change now, uh, it feels similar to the cyclic. I only have to do small changes in collective to get a result. Feels much better. So, and so uh, on this point, we stop the video about the control. And we switch to another video right here where we do some aggressive low level flying. So you see how much fun you may have with the gazelle flying low level, flying hard maneuvers. That's the way I like helicopter flying. That's the reason why I started a helicopter career. 